What's happening, my love bunnies? Welcome to my channel. I am Simply Love, and I'm here to do the reading. For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for Cancer. You guys remember to hit, uh, if you want to be in the contest, that's for you guys that are new and you haven't um, entered yet. Enter the contest where you can win um, every month. I'm going to select people to win whatever it is that they put in. Uh, say tarot cards, oracle cards, or a free reading. A lot of you guys want that free reading. Yeah, I got you. I got you on that, okay? So just, you know, put it in the comments. Hashtag, tell me what you want. Uh, get your name. Put it in the bag that I have up here. You'll eventually win sometime, but you got to make sure you have your bells on so you can uh, see the uh, prize. I'm going to draw it live in front of you guys and put the video out there. Then it's up to you to contact me, you know, and get your prize of whoever won. And like I said, don't worry, you know, your name will stay in the bag if you haven't been drawn yet. Okay, so thank you so much. Also going, you know, if you'd like to join my channel. I have a membership uh, channel now where you can, um, you know, get some perks there. You can look into that if you'd like to. I really appreciate you guys. So I'm just sa sage in the area. You guys, I did a, had a lot of uh, dreams and stuff. I got this crystal. I'll tell you about it. You know, I don't want to keep going, you know, too much here. And it really um, enlightens, intensifies your dreams and kind of put it in more sp perspective for you. Um and I'll tell you who has them and uh, how to get them. Um, if you're into, you know, wanting to be awakened and, you know, heighten your phys your um, your uh, your abilities for is your intuition, your psychic abilities, because everybody has them. OK, it's just a lot of people just don't use them and they don't. That's all. Okay, everybody has it, okay? Your intuitions, your um, emotions is your uh, intuition, okay? But it heightens all that stuff for you, and it helps relax you and calm you and keep you balanced, okay? So I'll get to that. We'll, uh, we're going to go live tomorrow, you guys, uh, around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to have my love bunnies, my love tribe on with me, okay? And I'll make that announcement. So there you go. So Holy Spirit. Ancestors, can you give me the energies in the in the cards for the messages for Sun Moon Rising Venus sign for Cancer? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. We love you, ancestors, and thank you for the messages that you have for our own good. Okay, for what you see, you're free to see everything, and you use us messengers to help you out to deliver the messages. Thank you. Okay, got the strength card that fell out. Here, we use those two. We got the hermit card. You got some majors falling out here. And uh, we got the moon card. All three major arcana cards here. You know, major arcanas represent, you know, um, the spirit. Okay, that spirit right there, kind of like saying this is going to be a major event happening. Now, remember, this is not for everybody's reading. And, you know, we got millions of people out there. So just keep that in mind. I know you guys know by now. So what I'm seeing with the strength card, some of you are dealing with the Leo, the moon, moon card. Some of you are dealing with the uh, Pisces energy or Scorpio energy, Cancer energy. I look at it all for some reason in that moon card. Uh, we also have the Hermit card which is you know a virgo energy mercury okay so you know that's a heavy energy right there so all these are heavy because they're all major so what is spirit trying to say and the empress okay got at the bottom of the deck here got the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck so somebody's in protective mode here protecting themselves guarding themselves okay so with the strength card i'm picking up somebody is you know, gaining their courage back. Y'all remember the Wizard of Oz where the lion said they ain't got no courage and all that, which they had it anyway. They just had to find it out for themselves that they didn't need anything but themselves and all they had to do was search for it. So somebody's getting some kind of uh, strength here, okay? Strength uh, with the moon card here about something that could be a, um, that's warning. This is like a warning 
warning, warning, you know, something's going on, something may be a little suspicious, something could be hidden. This is also talking about, well, if something's hidden, of course, you're going to, you know, have some type of fear about it. But, you know, and it's also secrets, things like that. Something is hidden here, okay? So Spirit is saying, you know, you, they have, you can have the courage because the, uh, because the strength card will trump the, the moon card. Because this is like something hidden, something you need to find out about. There's something suspicious. It's a suspicious type. It's like an energy that comes towards you. Spirit says use your intuition um, to see past the moon, whatever there is that's hidden. Yeah, see? The hermit, Virgo energy. So some of you may be a Vir you know, dealing with Virgos or some of you like it's a leo um you know this is you know this will give you knowledge once you shed the light on whatever is hidden here or fearful here because it's saying have the courage the courage trumps over fear so if you have the courage enough to to, to see what's what's nudging at you and get your go by your intuition and use the hermit energy um, to gain your knowledge, okay? Because the, the hermit is like, this is all this is divine intervention right here. This is like having a spiritual awakening, some type of awakening, some type of enlightenment, some type of wisdom is being given here by the most high, okay? But, you know, you're going to have to take your time and look inside. You're going to have to really look, look deep. This is looking deep. And, and it has to do with this empress energy here, a, a Libra or a Taurus energy here. So, you know, the the empress is, you know, she just sits high, okay? She's the type of person that's live, uh, giving, loving, caring. Um, she gives birth to the universe, okay? She has, she's just like this down-to-earth mother figure, okay? Somebody could be uh, expecting as well, like, you know, the empress represents pregnancy. So... Is that the secret here? This somebody may be pregnant, or you know, somebody is something about a pregnancy. Let's see here. Spirit, what are the messages for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? What do you mean by this strength card here? What's that all about? Well, this came. Okay, so the strength card is. Look, Cancers, there's a big, big energy of something that needs to be revealed here for you because of all these major arcana it's like spirit is screaming screaming at you guys for some reason uh regarding something a relationship or in, in your life so justice is here so something's going to be justified i feel like the hermit it, you know once you get in hermit note or take on the hermit and energy is shining a light on what's hidden here but you do need the strength in order to, you know, to gather the information to see what's hidden. Is something could be about a pregnancy. I'm going to break it down here because it, it's going to be justified. Okay. So justice is on top of the moon card. I understand the strength card. That's something alone. So justice is about a Libra or a uh, Tar. No, a Libra period. Just a Libra energy. Venus energy. Okay. So whatever this moon is hiding, justice is going to serve this. Justice, it will be served, whatever it is. Something will be balanced, okay? Something, whatever's wrong here that's behind that, sitting behind that moon, whatever it is that's suspicious here, it will be revealed. I mean, it will be justified by justice. It's also, justice talks about karma too, like something karmic may be going on. And justice is here to straighten out that karma, to straighten out once this, whatever it is, hidden. It's going to be justified. And so we have the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, it's going to bring on some type of enlightenment, some type of energy to where it's um, kind of, uh, it's going to be like fiery or, you know, something to bring on some type of enthusiasm to bring on something new that's new and exciting okay why is the empress here spirit what's the empress here for can you give us some more information about the empress
Also, when I see this Ace of, of Wands, um, you know, it can represent a male phallic, which is a penis, okay? You know, an erection, you know, could, could be talking about some kind of sex. Something may be hidden regarding a sex, some type of sex that took place. Somebody could have a, a partner. We're going to get more into it. You know, somebody could have found out somebody had sex with someone and, and that's that's what the emperor's here for pregnancy. But okay, spirit, can you show us please? Here it go. Okay, right out. The Ten of Wands. Somebody's gonna find out about a pregnancy and it may be unwanted because the Ten of Wands is on top of the um Empress card. And it was in reverse. Oh, I got it up right. It was in the reverse. The Ten of Wands was up in the right. Some of you talking to a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And the reason why I'm saying is it may be unwanted because, you know, upright, the Ten of Wands is like a burden, okay? It's a burden. Being that it's in reverse and it's, you know, um, it's verifying the um, Empress, somebody, it may be an unwanted pregnancy here. Because, you know, the Ten of Wands reverse is releasing a burden. So somebody may want to release a burden when it comes to finding out about a pregnancy. Somebody may, it's unwanted. That's all I could say. And somebody, it's an unwanted pregnancy. Okay, what's the uh, messages, Spirit, that you have for Summon, Rising, Venus, Sign, for Cancer? Here we go. Yeah, it's um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly, you guys dealing with. But it is like a, um, with the Five of Cups here, it talks about disappointment, regret, embarrassment, because that person, see how they... They're looking down at those built cups there, and they're like, they got their, you can't see them. They, you know, they're embarrassed, okay? Something they did is in, is embarrassing. Um, they're in regret about it. They feel bad about it. They're crying over spilt milk. Whatever happened here is already spilt, and this person is in regret regarding it. But, you know, if you look at, behind, if he looks behind him or her, there's two cups still standing there. I don't know why I always pick up the energy of that some someone... When this card comes up, that someone either turned their back on a relationship or a commitment or something because the cups aren't spilled. They're still standing there behind this person, but they're still focusing on the regret or the embarrassment or something that they did that caused this type of pain with the three of cups. Those three cups, um, with the three of cups that spilled. So I'm st saying the three of cups because you know in the reg you know you have the three of cups in the tarot deck, right? So the three of cups represents see right here the three those three cups and they're spilt out, everything spilt out of it, some spilt emotions, some somebody hurt, disappointed, things like that. So the three of cups in the regular deck is like um, a reunion and stuff like that. But if it's in reverse, I look at that as three of cups, cups in reverse, um, that there is no reunion or somebody turned their back on a reunion, you know, with the two of cups or uh, uh, with somebody that they already were with. And once they turned their back and did whatever they did here, um, they're regretful and embarrassed about it and sulking about it, crying about it. Or it could be where somebody already in a relationship with those two of cups because they're not spilt down, the three cups are, and somebody turned their back and did something here because it, you know, with the uh, moon card being here, uh, and it, it was under uh, a relationship that they were already in. It could be possibly this person may have came up pregnant, and it, it's it was surprise or unwanted, or someone's going to find out that's in a relationship. Going to find out that someone is uh, they got someone else pregnant here. And I feel like somebody's going to find out that somebody, I feel like somebody's going to possibly abort the baby.
Spirit, can you give us some more messages for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Is there a, it, what's the outcome of this? What's what's really going on? Can you verify this nine of cups? I mean, four, sorry, five of cups. So, you know, to me, this is two stories in one because we do have a two of cup card and we do have a three of cup card, but these three cups are spilled, okay? And it, it, it does indicate to me someone went out of a, a relationship because this is a home here. Somebody, this person probably left the relationship or done something behind someone's back in this relationship and it caused pain. It caused some kind of regret. It caused some kind of, uh, somebody made a mistake here. You know, they're looking at it now because the cups are spilled. Something came out here and they're embarrassed and they're in regret and they're And they're looking at them cups like, what the hell did I do behind somebody else's back? Period. That's what that means. That's what I'm getting. That's what Spirit's telling me here. So we got the bottom of the deck. There's, you know, good old devil there, okay? The D. D-E-V-I-L, devil, okay? So with this energy, which is a major arcana as well, it talks about, you know, something toxic. Um, you can see, you can see in this card where people are here, you know, this is a, a, um, when it's something toxic, it could be anything. Okay. It could be anything, but it's something toxic and unhealthy. And it was brought on by somebody, you know, using their ego and pride by doing something that they wasn't supposed to do. So they kind of teamed up with the devil, okay? Made a pact with the devil, and the devil ended up disappointing this person, okay? Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. Hit the comment section. Let's simply know. Let you say, see, here's that three of cups. I just talked about it here. There's three cups in this. Wait a minute, sorry. There's three cups here that's, well, sorry. There's three cups here that's spilled, like I told y'all before, and here's three. Here's the three of cups. Okay, which I put them seriously as three. So, what I'm kind of feeling is that. That person's looking at them three of cups, you know, and, and, and while in sovereign over spirit saying with the three of cups, you know, it's time to um, take those cups, you know, and kind of like turn them up, turn them up like. And, it, you know, with it with the devil card as well, it could talk about some type of third party situation with the devil sitting next to it. Somebody involved another person, somebody could have. Um, Went back to an old relationship, say an ex, that was toxic and it caused them some kind of pain. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Spirit, what are the messages here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? Can you give me the rest of the messages? Yeah, I knew it. See, I just said it. Did I say it was an X? Somebody's X or something. Six of Cups. That's about, you know, past. Somebody from the past. Somebody here reunited with the past. Possibly, you know, had sex with them because you can see people having orgies and all that type of shit with them. Okay. Somebody fell in the, you know, got devilish energy, low vibration and, you know, suffered some kind of disappointment because of it, because there was another relationship here. Okay. They possibly got this person pregnant and it was, you know, it's unwanted. Okay. With the 10 of cup, 10 of wands in reverse. Somebody wants to relieve this, relieve this burden or somebody's relieving this burden of this person, this person who is is pregnant possibly is getting you know kind of going to get rid of it is somebody from their past six of cups cancer pisces scorpio see yeah here's the story okay see the queen of cups okay we got the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio somebody had a somebody kind of like um used their intuition because the queen of cups is psychic the queen of cups is intuitive she knows what's up okay 
Um, she's loving, caring, kind, generous, and all that stuff. She's a very, very loving person. But on the other hand, she's very psychic and intuitive. And she will use that intuitive energy to, to, to figure out what's going on here. So... So this hermit or this Virgo or this Capricorn messed around on this Empress. And it came out, it was revealed because it was a secret, you know, it could have been the secret lover here, okay? That's the secret that came out. But there's justice here is going to justify or somebody's getting some kind of karma and this is their karma being in regret here, okay, of, you know, going outside of marriage or a relationship with someone and here's the karma right here. Justice trumps over the devil, so somebody's going to receive some type of karma, like what you do comes back to you. That's how it rolls here in the spiritual reality here, okay? Um, somebody found it out with the hermit card, and, you know, it was about sex. Somebody had a sexual relationship with someone, okay? It brought a third party in, and it was somebody from their past. And it could have been this Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King or Queen, y'all. And I feel like it could have been a situation where this Empress might have found out something, okay? You know, you know, she could be the mother of the Capricorn or something like that. This one who brought in a third party here and... She might have found out about an unwanted pregnancy or she could be in an unwanted pregnancy or thinking it was a burden because of somebody stepping out here from someone from their past. Can you um, clarify the, um, the Queen of Cups for me, please? And then I'm going to move on to, I'm not going to make these too long anymore because it takes too long to upload and it's a whole lot of energy. And I got readings and other things that I'm doing. And, you know, I have to, you know, space myself here. I have to, because dealing with these energies is not no joke, man. I'll tell you. Yeah, it was revealed here. See, this was the, some of you are dealing with, let's see here, a Leo energy. Did Leo come out twice? No. <laughs> some of you may be dealing with, this is what came to the light about this Queen of Cups who was, somebody from someone's past that they went back to and brought somebody in the third party, which is this empress person here who could possibly be a baby mom or, you know, something baby daddy, something like that. And something was, un, you know, where she, she found out about a pregnancy or someone getting pregnant or she could have been the one got pregnant and didn't want it. But with the sun card here, it was revealed about this uh, third party, which is the Queen of Cups. What's the possible outcome here? You guys leave your comments. This is a little, a little. This could also be a court situation where somebody found out something that, you know, somebody was hiding a third party and already in a relationship and justice came up and said, you know what, you, this is being, re you know, what you did, you're going to have to suffer the karma for it. Or it also could be a court case. Now somebody wants to possibly, you know, divorce in this case. And it made somebody, you know, like feel really, really bad that they got caught. They're drowning in their sorrows here because they, you know, made a deal with the devil. Now, page of cups. Now, the, the outcome is this person wants to apologize, period. But is the apology, is the apology serious? I want to, you know, look at that. Is it serious? Because it is a page, okay? And that page got a fish in it. So it could be, a, to me, this is just my interpretation every time I see that damn fish. But, you know, sometimes it, I, I hear it could represent a child, you know, which it could be in this case because we're looking at someone has an unwanted pregnancy or 
Um, and maybe that's what's been found out here. That's what's been exposed. But the outcome is like, I feel this is like somebody is wanting to apologize. Somebody wants to say they're sorry. Is this apology legit? Is it too many? Uh, well, this fell over from the bottom of the deck, which is the five of wands. I feel like, you know, this person realized they caused a lot of conflict, a lot of competition. This really, you know, stirred up some stuff here. Okay, here we go. The King of Cups. Okay, now we have the King of Cups. Or it could be the Queen of Cups as well. Okay, so somebody wants to apologize and I feel like they mean it. Because this is a king. All right, now if it came up, you know, to, to clarify with, you know, another page or something like that, I, you know, I could say that it you know, it's not a sincere apology, but this is a, you know, sincere apology with the King of Wands being here. So, they, we know that they are sincere. So what is this, what is the other person, the other person, what is the other person going to do? The one that was deceived here, the one that, that this Empress who was deceived now, mind you, this could be a marriage as well, other than a long-term relationship. But somebody was in a commitment here and went outside of the commitment to be with someone else that they knew from their past. And this all got revealed. And I feel like with justice here and, you know, with the moon cards, like justice is going to take over this situation or there's going to be some kind of court proceeding regarding this. Uh, it could be somebody, you know, wanting child support out of this situation. If it's not child support, where I feel like somebody has an unwanted pregnancy here, it's going to be some type of maybe some type of divorce or something somebody's seeking because it came out. It was exposed to the person. Three of Pentacles. I feel like here, the outcome here is that somebody's willing to work on this. Because the Three of Pentacles is about collaboration. It's about two people working together, the beginning stages and stuff. So maybe somebody will, some of you or something may be willing to work with this person again. That's what the possible outcome is. Some of you will, some of you may not, okay, because of the situation. But what's showing here after I asked is showing here that someone may. Leave your comments, Cancer, if this resonated. Some of you dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. Okay, so what cards do I want to use? Okay, I'll use these. I oh, won't. Well, sorry. Okay, so let me do. Let me get this is for the couples. This reading I just done. And we're going to give you some advice here, okay? Okay, advice for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for... Let me get this mouse out the way before I end up hitting something again and turning the video off and have to make another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope y'all having a nice day. It's beautiful outside. Advice for summon rising of Venus on for cancer. What's the advice here? This one wants to stay. It didn't even want to get back in my hand. So give me a can I have another card spirit regarding the advice? Another one, please. Give me two more. That one wants to come out.
So that's a lot. I'll take that one over there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Cancer. Go with the flow. I believe a lot of you are going with the flow when this situation comes out if it hasn't already. And, you know, waiting. Talks about waiting. Go with the flow and wait, okay? Uh, memories. Kind of remind me of the six of, six of Cups that came out. Memories. You know, think. Wait and think about something here, and it's going to bring on some type of mem and uh, free spirit, free spirit. Okay, I'm going to use my deck here. I messages. You can go on my SD shop. The link is below. You can look at all my decks here if you'd like to purchase. Spirit, what's the message here for a cancer, Pisces, cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? What's the message that you have to deliver for them, please? Okay. You attract love by the qualities you display. You keep them by the qualities you possess. So the love that the qualities that you have is the love, the qualities that's going to keep things, that's going to keep love in your life. That's the, that's the advice for you, or that's the message for you, the additional message. I hope that helped out for you, Cancer. Now let's do the singles. Holy Spirit. We want to do the singles for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on with the singles? What's going on with the singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Cancer, singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see what we got here. Bottom of the deck. It's the Ace of Cups, but it's in reverse. So that could be some type of overall energy here for the reading. Um, the Ace of Cups represents, you know, new beginnings when it's in the upright. It's about self-love. It's about love being offered. But something here is like it's in the reverse. So someone may not be willing to, somebody may not be uh, loving yourself right now, not in a loving mood or something like that. And somebody's not willing to, accept a love offer okay a new love a new person possibly let's see here uh the two of cups cancer pisces scorpio sorry about that two of cups so two of cups talks about a relationship okay talks about a relationship a partnership here and the ten of coins okay there's possibly a be a marriage or um a live-in situation okay somebody that feels like they have it all with someone here with the with the ten of coins cancer pisces i'm Vir oh, sorry virgo taurus can't virgo taurus capricorn energy we have the two of wands okay so somebody contemplating a decision somebody's at their crossroads possibly regarding this marriage or relationship here okay aries sagittarius leo energy Somebody's trying to figure out which way they want to go here. They're at their crossroads. They're trying to figure it out. Okay. So here's justice, major arcana, major event going on here. So justice is a Libra. So somebody could be dealing with the Libra. So um, there's some type of something about justice here. Something about karma or somebody here wants something justified. Wonder why these readings are coming out like they're not really kind of telling you exactly what they why they're coming out with a lot of major stuff here. So somebody's in comp somebody's in this could be a Gemini here too with the lovers. Somebody is um contemplating which at their crossroads about this relationship. It could be a Libra, okay. Not necessarily, or somebody can have Libra in their chart, anything like that. But this major card is telling me that something is going to be justified regarding the situation. So whatever's wronged here will be righted. Whatever this, whatever decision that you make, Cancer, will be right. 
because justice is here. So that decision you make is up to you because justice is going to make it right. Whatever decision that you make. It also talks about some type of karma energy too. So here's this princess of wands, okay? Which is the page of wands. So I feel like here, somebody's coming here with some type of, um, you could be talking to someone that may be younger. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Somebody wants to tell somebody something. Somebody, somebody needs an answer. And somebody's coming to deliver a message. So we have the Queen of Swords and um, the Tower. Hmm. I feel like somebody's, this message that's coming in, or that you're going to deliver to someone, um, Cancer Singles, is that you're going to cut something off here you're going to end something here you're going uh, whatever message that's going to be either delivered to you or you deliver to someone is going to be very fast quick and 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 um sudden okay and it may take somebody by surprise what your answer is going to be because of this tower card it could be dealing with the uh aries something it might blow somebody up okay because this you know see that see that crown right there that's been blown up you might blow somebody's ego you might take somebody you know, ego and blow their little uh, crown off of their head here with the news that you're going to deliver cause, because the, the, uh, this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra with the king of, of uh, swords, I'm sorry, the queen of swords. It could be the king too. This person is very cold and cal calculated. It's like this decision they're making is uh, from their mind. Like, you know, they're using their head over their heart. You see they got that uh, sword cross in their heart. They're like, whatever decision they're making here is not going to be emotional. It's going to be mental. It's going to be like from the, from their, they're going to use all their, in, their intelligence and what they're thinking about. And it's, and, and it's, it's very cold that some, you know, that's probably why it's going to take somebody by surprise. Somebody's just going to come out and say, look, I don't want this. I don't want this. I'm done. That's it. That's the message. That's the message here that's coming in. Because justice here is here to justify the situation. The only thing is that I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe somebody got a choice between two with this two of wands here. Maybe somebody got a choice between two. But yeah, that's right. I'm sorry because the, um, no, two of cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I was thinking that's Gemini because they both look alike. So I'm pick, I'm picking up an energy. There's two people. There's there's a couple already married. Somebody and they is somebody. You know, it's you know somebody's looking at it is pretty stable. Like it's some kind of state stability here. It could be somebody married to someone that has a lot of money. But with the two of wands, again, somebody got a choice. Maybe somebody's got a, somebody else, another person. And somebody has to balance it out, make a choice, because justice is about choice. So it can be balanced. So the situation can be balanced out. Could be with a Libra or... Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and it could be over someone that may be a little younger. And this Queen of Wands, Swords here is cutting off the situation. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that's that's married, already in a marriage. Or somebody in a marriage may want to decide to make a decision to cut something off to be with someone else. It could be that too. Let me see here. What's at the bottom? The Princess of Swords in reverse. So this is the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, so somebody is like... Is like... It's almost like they put down their sword. Like they stop... They stop uh, tripping, really. They stop trying to 
be nosy and gather information. Somebody put a stop to that. Somebody's not trying to see what someone else is doing anymore. Somebody might have shut down their um, whole uh, social media because something may have came out. Something may have came out to something suddenly really, really fast and somebody shut something down here. We got the Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this is about somebody. <laughs> somebody's in regret now for something that came out. It's a little thing. Okay. Yeah, somebody's in regret about something. They feel embarrassed. They feel, you know, like. Somebody's all up in their feelings now because somebody cut something off here suddenly and fast. It caused somebody to shut down. They're no longer looking at someone. They stopped looking at someone. They stopped. I think they stopped. Look, this is a. It, uh, they stopped. They're not interested. Somebody's not interested anymore because of this tower. Somebody found out something here. And, you know. It caused them to be uninterested and actually go away because this the stalker card in the upright in the reverse is like they ain't stalking no more. It's like they gone away. Somebody got rid of a situation here and it left somebody all up in their emotions. Now they're disappointed, embarrassed, um, crying over spilt milk. I, again, yeah, this is another third party shit. That's all it is. King of Wands could have been with this King of Wands who is in reverse, and this person is pissed. Is pissed off. They're pissed off right now, and somebody stopped pursuing some somebody because the King of uh, the King of Wands is like a person. What they see, what they want, they pursue it. But being there in reverse, they're they're also upset. They're mad. Could be uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, and disappointed and embarrassed. Somebody cut somebody off and they're really, really mad. They're mad about and upset. It caused them to leave or somebody told somebody to leave. Somebody tried to interfere, it looks like in a marriage or a relationship with somebody that is that, that's well off. They got money here. That's what it looks like to me. Yes, leave your comments below. Whew. Queer swords, king of coins, four of wands. Yeah, this is about a marriage. It is. It's about a marriage and somebody tried to come between it with the three of swords here. Yeah. Somebody tried to come in a, to a marriage because the, the king of, sure, sorry, the king of coins is a married person. It's a Virgo energy. It's a father. They usually are married. So this is about a marriage that somebody came in between a, 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 with the three of swords. That's, you know, heartbreak as well, but it's a third party as well. Somebody tried to come in between someone's marriage. It could have been where somebody didn't know that this person was married. They found out or something with the tower card. That's like, a, it, it caused some type of upheaval here. It caused someone to cut things off, okay? Somebody found out about it and they like, you know, this is the message that they cutting this off. I'm using my head over my heart and I'm going to make a decision decision with the justice card about decision to cut this off, to let it go, to let the tower fall, to break somebody's ego and pride here, which probably was this Virgo person. This person is stable. They got a lot of money. They probably use their money to to get in, be involved in other relationships, okay, because there's the third party right there. And, it, you know, 
it's about four of wands is about a home a marriage it's about a marriage here so you know it caused some heartbreak to the, whoever was to to the marriage here definitely definitely that's the message right there so couples let me go ahead and give you some Somebody was being a little spontaneous, curious, you know, they kind of jumped the gun here, uh, and, you know, and it, it took something toll on their blessings. Like I said, somebody here was in a marriage that was like, they had everything. They got everything. I hope ain't nobody fighting out there. Um, and now somebody is waiting around. Okay, they're kind of waiting and taking their time, thinking about things, mulling things over because, you know, somebody does have a lot to lose here because they're very blessed. But, you know, being spontaneous got somebody in trouble here. So now somebody's putting something on hold and they're trying to wait around to see what they want to do. Singles. Some of you have hope or some that person may have hope in this that, you know, they, a miracle can take place. But, you know, solitude, somebody being the hermit, remember that was in there already. Somebody's like in deep thought about what this, what they need to do here or what's going to take place. Somebody has to think about it before they make a decision. That's what it looks like to me for you single. So let me get you some advice. What's the advice or what's the message for some moon rising and Venus sign for, that one came right out. No, it didn't. <laughs> For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, sign for Cancer, what is the message here? What's the message you have for them closing out this reading? What's the message for Sun? There we go. All right. Boy, it's hot. We need a fan out. Okay, Um, for you, this is... This is an eye message. You got a phone call. Ling a ling a ling. The message is a low level of self worth will cause you to accept hurt in place of love and call it love to make the hurt legit. Shake it off. That's definitely, you know, somebody living in some type of an illusion, you know, trying to justify. Somebody's trying to justify or, you know, you know, and they got, you know, depending you know somebody's self-worth might be really really low so they're accepting her in place of love and calling it love okay so somebody needs to get that straightened out somebody needs to get that straightened out i don't know who it is leave your comments and all that stuff hit the like button on your way out cancer thank you so much for visiting my channel i love you guys my love buddies take care bye